there is a child there. Yes. That's Joshua. Ano ang reaction niya sa iyo? Bago pa siya nanligaw sa akin, si Joshua na nun, ang nagpe-pray at nagwi-wish para kay RD na magkaroon ulit ng panibagong asawa. In really? fact, nung nag-birthday siya nung <coughs> April 8, sabi niya, na-wish ko dad na si mami uh, nasa heaven at masaya siya para sa atin, na, na okay na tayo. Tsaka, wish ko rin na magkaroon ka na ng bagong asawa. Sabi niya, Dad, I wish you have a new wife so I can have a new mom. So, nung nililigaw na niya ako, tumawag siya sa akin, kinuha ni Joshua yung telepono, sabi niya, Is that Tita M? Hi, my name is Joshua. My dad's going to marry you. <laughs> ano ang role niya sa wedding niyo? Was best he a flower man. Or best man. Well, best man. Tsaka And ring bearer. Bible, ring bearer. Tapos yeah. nag-exchange vows din sila sa mm -hmm. wedding namin. And nagbigay siya sa akin ng sing-sing. Ako naman nagbigay sa kanya ng bracelet. Ay, how nice. From now on, I will be your mom. I will take care of you. Tapos sabi naman niya sa akin, uh, from now on, you are, parang you are my mom. I won't give you any headaches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where did you spend your honeymoon? We stayed in Tagaytay. The week after, nagpunta kami sa Phuket. And then a month later, nagpunta kami sa Europe. And then meron pa sa US. And you feel na yung inyong constraining yourselves from having a sexual mm -hmm. and active sexual yeah. life mm -hmm. before your marriage has helped yeah. your marriage. <coughs> yes, in fact, it, in, in the first... Tandaan nyo yan, mga kapuso, mm -hmm. ha? Pwede palang gawin nyo. <laughs> Actually, it was much sweeter kasi nga second time namin dalawa, di ba? So, sabi namin nung sa Phuket kami after making yeah. love the whole day or, yeah, or honeymooning sure. the whole day, sabi namin, wow, it's so... this. We should tell everyone that this is the way it should be because it's so... It's it's not anticlimactic. Yes. Uh, ano, parang and it's not really shameless. It's shameless. And for you, it turned out beautifully. What if we don't fit? Because I just trusted that whoever God will choose for yeah. me will be perfect for me. In fact, Tita, isa po dun sa, na, sa 38 na check uh -oh. kay RD should be great lover. Pero in contrast dun sa first marriage ko, Tita, we were not. We were practicing premarital sex, but after we got married, sex was one of the problems that we had in that marriage. Ito po ang listahan spiritual, godly man after God's heart, wise spirit-led leader at the center of God's will, financial, good provider, capable, stable, accomplished. Achiever, mm -hmm. mental, intellectual, great conversationalist, yes. obviously. Smart. Yes. Interesting. Yes. We grow together. Yes. Emotional. Romantic. Yes. Healthy, fit. Mm -hmm. Ayan, fit na nga. Ano, mm -hmm. Great kisser. Mm -hmm. How? Why, why do you, <laughs> you want us to demonstrate? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, you no, what, why? Good looking, cute, attractive. Oh. Cute in my eyes, attractive in yeah, my eyes. Yeah, but you wanted the mestizo and you wanted 5'11. He's 5'8 or something, 5'7. But when we got married, he was 5'11, Tita. How? There's a uh, new technology. In shoes. Sabi ko gusto ko siya is surprise na sa wedding day namin eh, 5'11 ako. <laughs> RD, what were your requirements? Hindi ko naman kailangan ng beauty queen. Uh -uh. Kasi. My first wife, Ting Ting, maganda naman siya. Wala na siyang title. Pero nakita ko, in the face of sickness and death, yung beauty, it just fades away. Eh. Natitira na lang talaga yung character. Yung hinahanap ko na, na yung spiritual compatibility is there. is there. Tapos sobrang bonus na yung Miss Universe siya. Maybe you would like to give some advice to people who are looking for their God's best mm -hmm. for them. Number one qualification, paghanap ng lalaking ta merong tatlong C ang karakter. Dapat ang taong uh, mabuti ang karakter ay magiging mabuting asawa din. Number two, dapat marunong siyang mag-commit. Aanin mo ang lalaki, nakapakakasalan ka nga, pero mga ngapit bahay naman. Pangatlo, dapat meron siya ni Kristo. Nasa isip ko, Yung kasabihan na maraming taon tumitingin lang sa external. Ay, maganda. Da, maganda magdala ng damit. Uh, hot. Pero God looks at the heart. Dapat tayo rin, tumitingin din tayo sa puso. Sa so, mga kapuso, ayan. 
you have one of the great love stories of the decade, maybe the century, <laughs> etc. But it is a love that is second time around. Mm -hmm. And it, there is such a thing as true love, I suppose, and love that does not have to go over the, the bounds of what you call morality, etc. 